And hello, hello, hello there, everyone. Osage Orange here, and welcome to another episode of City Building Saturdays. Yes, we are on yet another episode of this series, so let me go ahead and toggle my screen. There we go. Bring up the game. And there we are. So I apologize for anybody who's watching on Twitch uh, for the late start. We will go a little longer, but this should, of course, uh, be available on YouTube. So if you're watching on YouTube, welcome, welcome. And same to the folks on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, please make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. If you're here on Twitch, make sure you fall hit that follow button for more live streams. We got a number of live streams that I do each week. Of course, this is our main weekend showcase. So, um, last time uh, we were completing the Old Kingdom here. Oh. And I just realized I... There's, there's Chatbot! I was being a dum-dum and not having... Uh, my, um, check mod up. There we go. While Egypt falls apart around you, you have managed to hold your city together. These skills will serve Egypt well in the difficult time to come. All right. So we are ready now to begin the middle kingdom of this game. So we are going to go ahead and, uh do that. So let's start with the Middle Kingdom. The pharaohs of our forefathers conquered this great plain and built the great pyramids and the Sphinx and the sacred tombs of countless nobles which sprawl across the desert as far as the eye can see. Here is a testament to the ways of old, to the glory that was Egypt, the glory that was Pharaoh. Yet though our monuments endure, the strength that built them does no longer. Osiris has abandoned us. The power of Pharaoh has evaporated like drops of water in the desert. Our enemies dare to challenge his sovereignty and raise sword and spear against us. And Egypt crumbles into dust. Drama! Oh well, yeah. Let's go ahead and, uh, we're going to be starting here in the Middle Kingdom. We've got Thinis and Wast. Two cities. Uh, let's go with Wast. The old way of life is gone, and most fear that Egypt will never return to its past glory. Osiris has turned his back on the people, and a series of low inundations has caused widespread famine. The power of the pharaohs, once unquestionable, has evaporated, replaced by bickering provincial leaders. Out of this chaos, two noble families have arisen and are attempting to seize control of the country. The rulers of Henanesu have Hello left there, Mrs. The Danville. How are you doing? Heirs. They are particularly cruel and are doing little to assuage the people's hunger. Thank you for that house. A new family, the Inyotef House, has risen to power in Wast. The family has done much to reunite the South, and now the rulers of Henanesu have engaged the rulers of Wast in a deadly civil war for control of all of Egypt. The Inyotefs, busy fighting the Henanesu I'm rulers, doing okay. have entrusted Thank you. you with building up their home city of Wast. If the Inyotefs are to succeed in their fight against the Henanesu rulers and solidify their reputation in Egypt, Wast must be a touchstone on which other cities rely, providing succor or soldiers to those that request aid. Wast, which could be the capital should the Inyotefs reign victorious, must be a great city. 
Using the scarce resources available to you, build a sun temple and pyramid to show Egyptians the glory of the Inyoteps. Wast itself is not immune to attack. The Henenesu rulers and those loyal to them may threaten your city from time to time, and Henenesu may try to extort demons from your city's treasury. To defend against these considerable risks, build a strong army and navy to defend your city and to come to the defense of other threatened cities. So yeah, Egypt in the midst of civil war. This is uh, this is one of my favorite scenarios in some ways. It's a uh, a challenge both militarily and economically. So, let's go ahead and get ourselves started here. <coughs> Excuse me. Now we'll first start off by putting a ferry landing right there. That'll be our first start. You swing the map around. And then we're straighten out the road, because as you can see, as you know, going hither and yon all over the place. Deep. I want to make, make sure to leave some space for, uh... Oh, look at that! It lines up just the way I want it. We'll get the uh, most of that deleted right there and so uh, let's see we got so uh, that's right we can do gold and copper so that that'll help uh, give our city's economy a nice little boost so I think what we'll do is we'll first start off with a uh, road right here make sure it goes to the uh, have it go like that, because eventually we're going to should be able to put a dock right there. Yep, yep, we can put a dock right there, actually, for future planning. There's that. That way we can put in some infrastructure right there. So let's see. I'm going to have uh, this little thing right here. This We're going to have that be our copper. Let's pull up our gold mines. We want to make sure we get our gold mines up and running ASAP. And so, what I'll do is this little number. And I'll put the city palace right there. We'll put in, at least put a firehouse right there. That way I know where to put, start putting my infrastructure. So... Next up, we're going to, of course, need our housing, so... 800 units worth of housing. Yeah, yeah, I know that they're beyond the road. Silly game! Let's see, 800. Let's make it a thousand. Make it a thousand. Nice, even thousand. So, another 200. There we go. And then we'll put in the road like... Oh, Forgot to do all this. There's that. Temple complex to row. We want to make sure that this dude goes up. So we'll put up the uh, temple complex right there. Use it for some desirability. And also put up... Let's see here. How do I want to do this? Put up statue uh, right here. Do it so I can have a gap. One, two. Look like that. That way I can put in more housing. And then another smartsy smarts idea. Uh, another large statue right there. Actually, undult it. Un yeah, that's right, I call the undo button the undult because sometimes I feel like a dolt 
for doing this. Statues like that. Knowing that I have uh, reasonable, easy access to gold will help make things easier. One, two, and two. Yes, one, two, one, two. There we go. And then, once again, we'll put up a pair, a few statues. That way I know this is perfect. Trying to get a number of housing, an amount of housing up in this area, and we're going to use this as a service area, you know, for various facilities and all that. We'll start putting up our needed infrastructure. It's a good thing to start with. Put up a second. Uh, oh, I just gave myself an idea. We could put uh, infrastructure right in here. Right there as well. Put a water supply right there. Another right there. And one right here. Trying to distribute them out somewhat outwardly, so, um. Hmm. That's an idea. Put up roadblocks right there and there. That way we can kind of control where the water carriers go. So, um, alright, <clears throat> we really need, excuse me, we really need to, uh, let the, um, immigrants, oh, see, that, that's right, we, we're gonna have, like, a request for fish, I think, pretty quickly, so, we had, I had better be ready to, uh, hop right on that. Uh, time to undolt things, guys! I put up all these, uh, water carriers, and I was like, we need to get more people into the houses total versus packing them all in at all at one time. So, that's why I decided go undolt it. Go undolt it. Up. Let's see, what else do we need? Um, oh my God! Ra's obviously the patron. We got Boston Osiris. So I'm gonna put a. Oh, don't be a dum dum. Let's see, I'm gonna pull up water. <laughs> That's gonna be a dumb spot for that. However, use the desirability, put it right there. Hopefully, uh, we'll get some of the immigrants in here, PDQ, there we go, we got some of those guys flown in right there. Oh, they went right, they went right there. Uh, infrastructures and religion. Want to make sure we get government a priority, because with the gold, of course, we need to be up. Oh, need to finish putting up infrastructure. Doi. Idiot infrastructure. There's a, there's an archie post right there, and yet that gold mine collapsed. You're fired. The um, gold mine. Get the right thing, orange. Well, that's that there is partly my fault. I forgot to put up infrastructure. Oh, swing carefully. Swing the map around. All right. And I better finish putting up infrastructure elsewhere, too. Don't worry, guys. We're not going to be in debt long. Or 
just get the uh, puck carries up. We don't want to have uh, diseased uh, guys come through. Good, they should be getting. Oh, there we go. We got we got a uh, worker. We got housing there, so they'll be able to get. Uh, Stuff in soon. I think I'm gonna put in more infrastructure over here too. Uh, silly, silly, idiot infrastructure. Yes, I know. Oh, look at that. I'm in debt, but I'm out of debt. Let's see, there we go. We got a little more gold now. That's why I said it was important to get uh, gold up and running ASAP. Hello there, Tiny Games. How are you doing? Uh, Miss Danville, if we could get a visit message for Tiny Games, if you would, please. I'm doing well, Tiny. How are you doing? There's a typo there, there should be a second eye. It's all right. Oh. Yeah, here, I'll, here I got it. Oh. There we go. Oh, well, thank you for coming by. I appreciate it. I very much appreciate it. All right. Uh, this is uh, one of my ongoing stream series, City Building Saturdays. Oh, 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 oh. I just remembered. Osiris. And Bust. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this is one of my ongoing series, City Building Saturdays, where I play uh, games that are, well, uh, somewhat, somewhat. Um, this, uh, this game was done by Sierra Studios, uh, an impression studios. And um, basically you go through, in this case, I'm going through playing on in ancient Egypt, ver building various uh, cities through Egyptian history. So it's kind of like Age of Empires. That's actually a game I actually played. Very fun game. All right. Now that I have to worry about all this unemployment, I'm going to start taking better care of my people and also taxing them. So let's go ahead and start setting up some tax collectors. Yeah, it is very fun, at least in my opinion. I, there, you know, there is some, you know, they do have some, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? There's some, um, um, they stretch things a little. That's sort of what I was looking for there. They do stretch it, but then again, they also kind of stretch things with Age of Empires. So, uh, that's something I actually want to do. That's actually something I'm going to be doing, guys, is starting this Monday at 3 p.m., or about 3 p.m. U.S. Central Time. Going to be starting a new series called Age of Empires 2 Mondays. Going to harken back to our days of Age of Mythology, which uh, was the first... Hello, Det. Was the first uh, stream series I ever did. So now, let's see, we need to start... Uh, more debt, more debt. Now, well, up, we're out of debt. All right. So yeah, we're gonna be starting a new series on Monday. So I hope you guys can tune in for that. All right, so we need to start taking a look-see here at our trade partners and all that. Now, of course, we're fighting against the rulers of Henanesu right here. So they're going to, of course, be causing us some trouble. But for the moment, things are in peace. So... See, phew, come on. Bias pottery, wood and papyrus. Guys, copper from thinnest bias copper. 
The Dukla Oasis, Samit, uh, Lenin, Luxury Goods Papyrus, Dungle Oasis, they buy pottery, clay, beer, reeds, papyrus. Hmm, let's see here. I think Kamun would be a good place to start off, as well as Dukla. Because I know that they. Let's go ahead and open up a trade route here with Menefer as well. Yes, I know I'm in debt! Actually, and I know I don't have a working dock. <coughs> Excuse me. We'll go ahead and establish that dock. It's going to help, of course, with the unemployment situation. Let's see. Uh, I don't want that. I want a water left. We'll put our water lift right there. Put our city on a shoop slow mode. Uh, put in all these. Um... Oh, hello there, little kitty. Sorry, my cat is here in my room, and he obviously decided to come out from under the bed. There you go. It's one of those times where I wish I had a cat door in my door. That way he could uh, come in and out as he pleases. And all these food. F these aren't fig farms. These are grain farms. Doi. There we go. Make sure we get these grain farm. Come on, you silly road. Silly, silly road. There we go. We can obviously can't harvest the food unless we have them attached to roads. Silly orange, don't be a dunce. Yes, I just referred to myself in the third tree for the upteenth millionth time. Put in irrigation ditches. Because with the irrigation, of course, we get better food production rates. Uh. Okie dokie. The last thing we need is a work camp. Put one right there, and we'll also put one right there. All right. Have fun, Tiny. Of course, we're leaving a, uh, a gap right here for the uh, for the irrigation show to come through. So now, let's see. We are still high on our unemployment. Let's make sure uh, the gods are ample. At least Osiris and Bast are. Um. Let's see here. So we're gonna put up, help reduce our unemployment situation. Put those guys up, and then gonna need let's put up some granaries. And of course, I am just running my finances into the ground, so we'll put the city into turbo speed. I need to remember to, to deal with that, um, that crocodile. Alright. Yeah, I know there aren't enough jobs. Uh, Which is something I'm about to worry about. So. Um, Let's see here, boys and girls. We're going to want to put up another dock. Maybe that's for, that's where I want to put some, um, um, fishing wars. That was a momentary loss of words. So, and then here we'll just put in some clay. Start putting in our clay pits. Oh, 
can't put clay pits there, but we can put one right here. Alright. And I'll put up a storage yard right here. We'll have this for clay. I know I can export it. Then, actually, smarter thing. There we go. Get that a little bit more set up. And put up. Help keep an eye on that crocodile. What? I can't build it right there? Stupid. Stupid breeding grounds. Tower. Also put one up right there. That way uh, we'll have multiple things of uh, cover. Can I? I still can't. I can't even put a clay pit there. That really. Uh, that really kind of makes me angry. So we need infrastructure. Oh oh oh! Don't be a dunce, orange. Don't be a dunce. Put up housing. This isn't Zeus or Caesar 4. Well, though, in those games, uh, the buildings will automatically uh, deduct uh, the needed employment from the employment pool. Oh, and well, we're going to play those games at some point here on this series, so. Oh, excuse me. Didn't mean to have that happen to you guys. Lack of jobs prevents immigration. Now well, we're just going to have to pry this uh, roadblock loose. Some of the guys will... Uh, hopefully... There we go. That's much, much better. Let's kick up our wages per month. Going to... Um, Hopefully, put things in a better light. Let's put in the needed, finish putting in the needed infrastructure. There we go, we got uh, immigrants coming in now. So they'll come over here so that these guys can all and of course, I completely forget to give that guy, set things up to give that guy a road. Well, we'll just leave that as open space. I'm not going to tear out the, uh, the storage yard. Alright, guys. Let's set some of our priorities here. And the uh, thing to do, of course, is to set up water supplies. We'll uh, I'll fill in with more housing here as uh, time goes by. So now, I really need to start worrying about my fishing industry because I know I'm going to need to do that. So, set up another clay pit right there. Put in a roadblock. A wee bit of infrastructure. I'm actually going to make sure I have some space right here for operating stuff. So need to get... Uh, I've always liked to use the um, this island here as a jump-off point. Actually, undo that, undult that, undult that. There we go, they're far more in line now. That way, uh, when the time comes to use them, they'll be able to just make quick work and have them go where they needed. Just getting rid of that road! How we doing? 
Uh, turbo mode! Super speed! Super speed cutting! That's anniversary, that is not good to give the city. So it's March, yeah, we can we give that to the city, so we're a little less in debt. A little less debt is always good. Ah! See, I knew it. I knew it. And of course I was lollygagging. So what I can do... Auto shave history. And go ahead and put up the ship ride so we can start building up the uh, the fishing fleet. Won't take much to finish installing uh, the um, the um, reinstalling the water supplies and doing the stuff I was just doing. And also gives me an advantage. Of doing this! Sending a gift. That way, uh. Lose a little less favor with, uh. Pharaoh. We'll do this a little bit differently this time. But we'll still put up the fishing. So, fishing walls. Uh, put in a position. And then, of course, the needed infrastructure. An archie post. Relay station. Parker. Pry these guys off the road. And then put one there so that the uh, employee search dude doesn't go wandering off farther than he needs to. Yes, I already know we eat more than we produce. So, I want to leave this guy open there for, uh, for stuff, so now that we got more fishing wars up, that guy, those guys are, of course, building. So once again, we'll launch the city into super speedy situation. Oh, fudge apples! Idiot infrastructure! Look at that! Idiot infrastructure. So I have to go rebuild all of that. Potter. Build it up. Up, up, up. Don't be a dunce, Orange. Don't be a dunce. Ah, uh, there, there. Storage yard. Uh, where to put? Where to put? Where to put? Where to put? Uh, more idiot infrastructure. We'll put the, uh... Alright, we're gonna have to get the, um... Uh, let's see, uh, fish... I'm gonna have to get the thing up and running. So, normally I put my military forces over here. This time we're gonna do it different. Let's see, since this is gonna be an, an, an industrial area, let's make sure we leave some space for industry. So we'll put up three archer forts right there. And, uh, great! I maxed up my credit! Let's see, how are we doing on jobs? Four, short 14, that's okay. Let's see, and uh, make sure I put fish on stockpile. So, okay, so as soon as I can get some credit, there we go. I'm gonna put up a uh, trait. <laughs> I don't have enough credit. There we go. Ah! Well, that help is helpful. Come on, come on. There we go. Then put you as pottery. 
That's accept he's accepting clay. That is completely okay. That's what I wanted him to do. So now, I need to go rebuild that fishing wharf. Yeah, fishing wharf. want to make sure that military has a decently high priority so that uh, keep these guys manned. Clans now possible. This is a most good. See? Actually, I could probably take uh, this guy. Ah! Didn't mean that. Well, didn't mean to take out the firehouse there. Yeah, the two guys will be able to keep uh, an eye on that. Alright. We obviously can't get much farther without giving people food. So we'll put up... Eh, we'll move the... Remove that bazaar and we'll move it right over here. How the gods doing? Apathetic. So we'll just put up a few more samples to Osiris and Boss. And we'll invert more immigrants in. Yes, yes. Oh, look at that, I'm out of money. Again. Dead anniversary. We are not doing to I am trying to overexert myself financially. Oh, this is nice. Alright. Oh, I guess it's a good thing I'm trying to get my uh, stuff up here and running in terms of food, so uh, let's see. Unstuck pile fish. That way uh, my uh, bazaars can start using it. And oh, oh, oh. It sets pottery to export. Let the demons flow. Let them flow. Now that my traders, the traders, they'll start coming through. That is going to provide a nice boon for us economically. Look at that! We're above the. We're back in black. We are back in black. All right, this is a very good thing. Okie dokie, um, we are going to see if we can get our, uh, still can't build there. Stupid, uh, stupid crocodile. Get out of the way, thank you. We'll get those guys set up so we can have surplus clay to export. Let's make sure. Yeah, yeah, that's set to export. We can also export brick. We'll worry about brick a little later, I think. So now that we're back in the positive, uh, I'm gonna open up a trader to Tenma here. As well as the Dakla Oasis. And a Camus and a Smenifer. Uh, not anybody else, so. Now let me see here. I need to take a look. We can only import beer. We need to import beer. We can import linen only. We can export, at least not, not right now. God. Our our industrial options aren't that good right now, folks. We can import gems and export luxury goods. That's going to be a very difficult uh, proposition, but overall it w should be profitable because, as you can see, uh, I have to pay 120 debon, but I only receive 150, so. 
It's also about being able to balance the export ratio, so... Let's see, uh, Dungle Oasis, they sell 2,500 gems per year. And Dakla, oh, oh, it's, it's a, we're going to have a net gain, it looks like. Oh, it's going to be in uh, favor, I think, because uh, Ben Nefer also buys luxury goods. So, make sure that, oh boy. Good thing I went and checked that. Uh, we'll deal with the gods here in a minute. We'll deal with Boston Osiris here shortly. Um, before I forget, I'll put an academy right there. We'll have one of those guys just remain unassigned for now. We'll put that guy on luxury goods. Actually, he can. St this guy here, we'll have him store weapons. Yeah, weapons. I don't need to worry about importing copper. So, uh, let's see here. Move out of the way, you silly immigrant. Thank you. So we'll put. This guy to accepting gems. Jula. I'm leaving this gap so troops can come around and through to their forts. Put uh, these bad boys right there. Yes, yes, I know. Actually, do a little trick like that. Put a police station. No, park carry. A dentist. Not a dentist, a physician. And we'll put housing to either side of that position. Don't worry, there's going to soon be more jobs. Oh, oh, oh. That's a big ow, ow. That is a big ow. So, we need more jobs. Let us now. Here I am. I'm starting to go into my um, my Sean, attempt at a Sean Connery impression. We got four copper mines right there. Go ahead and connect them up, and then, of course, we need the necessary infrastructure. Uh, up. Didn't mean to do that. Weapon smash. We will provide a tremendous amount of employment. Yes, it will be far away. That way, we'll be able to get these more people more jobs. Really? You guys are just being a huge pain in the butts. All right, I need um, put up a ow. I didn't mean to do it like that. Don't be a dum dum. All right, you, this guy. I'm gonna have him ex not figs. Get fish. This guy only accept grain. All right. No trouble there. It means obviously we're at least doing some good for our capability for uh, stuff there. Well, I'm going to replace. Uh, let's see. We got a dock there, and a dock there. I think we'll leave it at. Like that. Actually, smarter idea, I think. We'll put another dock right there. 
We'll just relocate where I got my um, shipwright. Yeah, he'll fit perfectly right there. So we'll just connect him up like that. Put up a storage yard right here. This will be for wood. All right. And I forgot to do this, so let's do that. And set luxury goods to export. Put up another uh, guy right there and a little bit of housing. Yeah, I know, I know. Alright, I guess it's a good thing we're, uh... Alright. I guess it's a good thing we've been building up our military, because obviously, uh, the rulers of Henanesu have decided, uh, that it's time to get cocky. And it's like, well, let's get those Inutefs in their place, and we'll prove that we are the rightful rulers of Egypt. Well, guess what, Henanesu? We're gonna prove that... The um, the Inutefs, idiot infrastructure. There is literally an architect's post right there. How could you not do that, you stupid architect? Idiot infrastructure. All right. Let's see here. We're still got fairly high unemployment. We'll just add to our polit military political machine. <laughs> Modern term comes to ancient Egypt. Seriously! Idiot! 1100 fish are needed. Dishpatch! Oh boy. I had better make sure that uh, when January next year rolls around. Cup mine. But, um, I remember to send some money to please the people of Egypt. Alright, so I'm gonna wait for most of these infantry forces to get, um, get up and running. Hmm. Hey. Da boo 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 All right. So now what I do need to start in part worrying about is my military. Got of course I've got the money for it. So uh let's see here. Put up Warship Wharf right there. Another right there. Another pair right there. Bring the map around. Want to do, let's do it smartly. I'm gonna connect up thusly. Put in a roadblock right here. And leave a up oh, like that. Of course, we're gonna haul in the necessary immigrants. Uh, part of me really wishes that uh, this was like Zeus or Caesar 4, where I didn't always have to set up housing for the uh, um, for all the districts that I could have it be a little more centralized. Alright. So now put in at least those guys. As well as that. They'll see immigrants, of course, they'll just go right across, so... Yep. Yep. That's full complement right there, so... Hmm. 
get all this organized so that uh, there we go. Put in a nice chunk of housing right here. Put in uh, needed infrastructure. Doing good on our unemployment. Oh my lord, I'm forgetting about the gods again. So, well, since I got this, uh, silly, uh, well, they're not doing too happy. So, what we'll do is so we just got this area built up. Go ahead and slide in a few temples. Oh, not raw. Don't be a dunce orange. Undult it. Osiris! Matter of fact, we'll do this very smartly. Put in a nice allotment of temples. Three of each. That will more than pacify the gods of. Bast and Osiris for now, and keeping them appeased. So that we can, uh, have lots of fun. Doing good on our unemployment for now. So these guys, they obviously say, hey, we're kind of in a bad spot here. Could you make the area a little more pretty? And then, over here, we'll put up some more granaries. We can store more, store more food. I was saying stow, as in stow away. Have you get maximum on fish. Alright, I need to start seriously thinking about some of this. Oh my lord. I forgot again! Pull up the autosave uh, history. Eh... Uh, Fortunately, it won't take much to... It's not like I'm doing this at the end of the year and I'm forgetting half of the stuff I built. Actually, hold on to that money. Uh, we need three temples to each. So, actually, I'll do it a little more compactly. And we'll, uh, we'll actually move the temple that's of Osiris right there to right there, right here. Pry that bad boy loose. And then, once again, reinstall these like I did just a moment ago. Yep, maximum on green. That's good. We'll reinstall the, uh, the statues. There we go. Employees needed. Well, that's part of what I'm doing here, guys, is aiming to get more employees. Of course, I'm going to need the um, wood, so let's have an import up to 1,200 wood. I'm going to have to deal with that. Well, by the time that that time runs out, we're going to be more than ready. We're going to be far more than ready. All right. Let me go ahead and replace that guy since it's only partially up to um, fullness with archers, and we'll replace him with infantry. All right. I'm thinking. Guys, uh, let's see, let's, we'll put up another shipwright right here. Aye, oh, stupid dock. 
No. Idiot infrastructure. Idiot infrastructure. And then... You do stuff like that. This is just planning right there. Swing around. Have to leave the road space. Put that right there. Temples, boss. Go ahead and start to worry about infrastructure in this area because we don't want bad things happening of course they can and do so let's do all this nice business and we'll go ahead and slot it up a road does not equate housing. Road does not equate housing. Oh, we are short employees. So, we'll go ahead and let's see, let's plump that guy right, that water supply right there. That way we can start uh, dealing with that. We'll put in a position there, there, and there. Another water supply right chip. Now these guys, yeah, they got access to food, so put a bazaar right here, and we'll put one right here. i done it again. Get so involved trying to do stuff. Money to city to give money to city. Housing. 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 Water supplies. Physicians. And also slide in and pocket carry right here. And also be less of a dunce. And do that. Hello there, Mad Cat. How are you doing today? I hope you are doing okay. And thank you for the water. Yeah. yeah there's luxury goods. I want to make sure I'm... Make sure I'm right. Yeah, I'm exporting over zero. I would have... Uh, I'm doing good. Aside from having occasional dunce maneuvers. Uh, why are you feeling blah there? Is it sort of end of the day blahness or... Oh, I knew this was coming. I knew this was coming. Uh... See, I forgot, is it water or... Ah, oh, it is land forces. Good! Good, 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 good! So, uh, I want to dispatch myself some infantry. Uh, one, two, and three. Dispatch. Those guys are on the march. We'll decommission this archer fort. Oh, hi, Daniel. Oh. Ah. Ah, if, it, if it's personal, um, I understand. So, uh, we'll just keep it personal. So, right here, we'll put up uh, another uh, granary. This one will accept grain, actually. We'll pry up that roadblock we just put down not long ago. 
place it down the way. And the other guy here who'll get fish. And uh, leave a little bit of space to be able to get to that uh, floodplain right there. And we will need to get more food eventually. How are we doing unemployment? Oh, my lord! We got an unemployment central. Unemployment central. Well, about the best thing I can do is to make things a little more fishy, just so long as they're not too fishy. And all the fish. Yeah, I don't want things to get too fishy. But, uh... Hiring uh, guys to help take care of the um, helping hiring more uh, stuff. So uh, hiring more uh, fishermen. That's what I was looking for. Brrr. Brrr. <laughs> Things are already too fishy. <laughs> All right, so how are we doing over here? Those guys don't have water. Huh. Honestly, thought they might have gotten more water. Ooh, heroes turn, and people need green. So, let's see. I need a storage yard. And you shall accept grain. There we go. Stand up here for a sec. There we go. This is June. So how are we doing? Oh, we're above what we need. On our favor. On our kingdom favor rating. Which is good. Dust, dust is good as they would say in German. To put up another water supply. Another water supply right there. I'm thinking I'm going to do this. Put up another uh, water supply right there. Move the tax boy right there. Oh, look at that! Hennessy is gonna come after me because I refuse to give them demons. Oh no, we should be afraid. Nah, I'm not afraid. We're gonna kick their butts. Percent. Oh, uh, uh, dispatch that grain. All right. Speaking of, uh, oh, one man. Do the traditional uh, shave before the battle. Up, oh, up. Oh, oh. We haven't even saved the city. So, Middle Kingdom or MK. What? There we go. So now it's time to take on baddie fellow Egyptians. That she are, are they going to, I'm wondering, they're probably going to attack by sea. So, let's see what happens. Yep, yep, yep. We've got a transport and a, and a, and a, um, a, um, a warship. So, We'll have deploy our guys right up here. Make sure that they are set to auto attack. Uh, 
Auto attack. Auto attack. Auto attack. And auto attack. Now that way, they will um, go ahead and do what is needed of them. The fleet is here awaiting. Idiots! Oh, what they line, what they line. Oh my lord. Fortunately, my troops aren't that far away, so we will deploy our forces to arms! Psalm. City request goods. Did uh Huh. I guess they must have gotten beaten. They must have gotten beaten. So you go get yourselves repaired. You go ahead and go home. Go get yourself repaired there, dude. Just these guys can go home so that uh, they're just not uh, sitting out on the waves of the Nile, just being there. Thirteen uh, percent. That is not. Oh, that's right. We got a um, got a thingy. A request for goods. So we will go ahead and do a copper right there. and forth that copper. Alright. Since these guys got some uh, housing right there for unemployment, I'm going to put a roadblock right there. Also going to separate out the gold mine. This way the um, this way we um, keep the water uh, staffers going in the direction we want to go, so we'll take up some employment, but fortunately we've got employees to spare. Ah, bah, bah. Idiot infrastructure. gotten a little bit more unemployment to take care of, which is a good thing. Alright, I need to get some more food, grain production going, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up some land farms. So I'll put these bad boys up right here. Sure to have an, this irrigation. Oh, that'll be fun, but we can have a do like that. Oh, do it the right way, Orange. There we go. So now, put up a little bit of housing right there. So much fire! So much idi inf idiot infrastructure. So 
so much idiot infrastructure. I have to put up several more firehouses just to deal with all these guys. Oh, so those guys should get their employment there here in a moment, which means that it's going to go down. Am I total on them? Yo, is that a what is that position? I was like, wait, didn't wasn't that taken down by the enemy? Yeah, it was. <laughs> ah, God. so much idiot infrastructure. What, do you guys need a written invitation to take care of fires? Because if you do, you're being irresponsible. You're not doing your jobs. At least we've got our... Unemployment, Diane. So, now... Build up some more grain farms, and of course, as needed, I could take them down. But for now, we just need them to suck. Essentially, they're going to go to, you know, do a giant slurping of um, unemployment. Distortion, uh, Hananesu demands more demons! Uh, guess what, Hananesu? We are going to poke you in the eye. Which is putting it mildly. Alright, guys, we need to seriously start to do our stuff. So gods are congenial. Kingdom, fa Kingdom rating is most excellent. But we need to start worrying about our monuments. So let's see, I know we got a pyramid and a sun temple. So uh, it's time to begin this ginormous construction project. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect the road right there and lay in and pry these, uh, these roadblocks off. I'm going to put in a ton. Right, right. Orange. Don't be a dunce. Temporarily speak things up. Slow them back down. And pause the game, actually. That way I can get start to get these guys programmed for Shine Stone. Ah, wrong guys. There we go. Wrong thing there, but we got it corrected. So, I don't want my messages. I want more storage yards. Two, three, that'll be seven, eight, nine, and ten. Put in a roadblock right. Actually, we don't need a roadblock right there because we got something else. So. Let's see, more sandstone. Want to make sure that we get all these guys here programmed because we don't want them accepting anything willy nilly. Put him right over here. 192. So we're going to need plane stone and limestone. So better make sure I set up some additional uh, storage yards here. Quickly pause the game. 
with a plain stone. Plain stone. The rest can be limestone. I have to import both of those, but that. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Can I exp. I forget. Produce stone look away. Talk about import stuff. I can produce both of them locally. Doi. I was being so freaking silly. And guess what, guys? It can make a rather big dent in that unemployment. It's a win-win. So now, plan storm. Boop, 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 boop. We'll just connect those guys right there. And right there. This will be uh, temporary so that we can get the. Uh, don't accept papyrus, accept ling stuff. Except plain stone. Raw materials. Plain stone. You're not going to take much to have to worry about getting stuff uh, built up here, I can tell you that much, for sure. I know it's going to be in the way, but I uh, don't want to have to worry about removing the housing. And then, raw materials, we want a limestone. Bring on that limestone. Put a archy post right there in here. Let's see, limestone. I don't know why I was thinking I had to import everything. I was being very, very silly. So bring things up to turbo speed. Oh great, I need employees. Oh, one thing I can do, I can reduce the amount of weapons manufacturing I need. I really need to start considering doing um, entertainment so I can start bringing up my prosperity rating. Because that is going to be a thing. It's going to be a very, very big thing. Probably here in about 10, 15 minutes, guys. We are going to go ahead and take a break. Alright, I am going to move this infrastructure. Oh boy, they need more grain! Our house. Our key post. I'm doing this so that uh, more of the housing can be reached by uh, the uh, water carriers. All right, we got all. Yeah, yeah shut up. Shut up, Hedonesu. We don't like you. Went ahead and got rid of all the stuff there, so we got some more unemployment, but it's uh, gonna be uh, taken care of. Alright guys, let's see uh, here, yeah, we're doing good, we're go doing fairly well on our, uh, on our finances, how we doing? We're doing pretty steady, pretty steady. 
Not doing quite so good as we need to be. Oh, I forgot to rebuild the uh, position right there. Put a taxi boy right there. Can't. That guy, these two guys aren't doing their jobs. Oh, that's why I'm going to tear one of them up and replace them right here. Literally stick my money where my mouth is. So now we actually need to... Oh, did we are assigned being a shilly face, silly head. We're getting to import... Um... Um... Sandstone! take care of that stuff like that. These guys don't have employment access. Silly, silly me. Lord knows how long they've been like that. 900 grain. So we will dispatch. I like living here. Carrying water is not This city is good enough, I guess. Put up a firehouse and a uh, an architect's post right there and there. But keep an eye on those guys. And we're gonna go ahead and have these two storage yards get maximum on sandstone. Yeah, yeah, whatever, Henanesu. Really? Really? I'll take advantage of this little bit of devastation. Put up a firehouse over here. Take care of that fire here in just a sec. Oh my lord, what idiot infrastructure. Literally. Don't have that much to look after, dude, and yet you let one of our important warship orbs collapse. Hmm. Alright, how are we doing here? I think we're going to pry some of these farms loose, because we need the employment coverage. Go ahead and pry all these guys loose. Surplus food anyway. Alright, so now I'm gonna put up a bazaar over here. Smart idea here, boys and girls. Smart idea. Road essentially roadblocking this side off so that uh, stuff will go the way I want it to. I should have put up a bazaar over here. That guy should be able to do exactly as I want. So I'll hold on to the water over there. Really, you're not going to go that far out? <laughs> See if we're removing that helps any. Oh yeah, it does help. At least a little bit. I forgot to rebuild those guys. One thousand fish is needed. Surely we have plenty of fish. Oh, oh, did I remember to... Oh, yeah, it's not needed right now, but we need to be ready to stand by to build up the, um... Really, these guys lost religious access. We'll put up a, uh, Temple de Ra. Uh, 
That way they'll get their employment. Yep, it's definitely time to start worrying about um, entertainment, so... Put up a pavilion right there. And over here... Juggler School. God. Idiot infrastructure! You guys are such idiots! Look at this! Look at that, guys! Idiot infrastructure! I, I. You guys are such idiots. Of course, population is gonna go through the roof. Actually, save myself some future trouble. Do that. And I'll put up a pavilion right there. Yeah, our city's population is. Yeah. I'm not afraid of you. And then as soon as I am not afraid of you guys, so... <laughs> Save the end. What? I knew that my population was going to go through the roof. Egyptian army attacks. Alright, load game. Lost. This time we're just going to let these bad boys of the navy stay in there. Docks for a little bit. We'll let them deploy. That way they'll have these guys intercept the uh, intercept the transport. Well, that was a dumb maneuver. This time, we'll deploy most of the Navy. Wait for the enemy attack. Well, they decided to come over there, so let's take care of them, boys. Let's take care of them. Ready, fight! Switch over to the naval tab. Shall I have you go get your hull repaired? And then, now that that's done, oh boy, look at that. We have almost got our uh, Pyramid here, ready for construction. We'll construct a few more uh, uh, 
uh, war camps, and of course we're going to need some stone and carpenters guilds. So we'll get those bad boys up and running. That way, uh, things will get done a lot more quickly. Still got a ton of unemployment. Uh, let's reactivate those farms. Here in a few minutes, guys, we're going to go ahead and take our break. Thinness needs help. We'll dispatch uh, these guys here at the bottom. Dispatch now. Oh, well, I'm thinking about it. We need to replace these archers with infantry. So, yes, I want to decommission the fort. So we'll go ahead and do that. And assign these guys to both get these guys all here to get maximum, and this guy also get maximum too. So this way we can get uh, guys to do what's needed. Oh, and look at that! Stone masons reporting for duty. Construct our small pyramid. Need 30 more blocks. So I can go ahead and dispatch our these guys. Get those burial provisions dispatched. How we're we doing on our Alright, we're gonna have to import beer. Of course this is gonna Let's see, uh, beer. We need copious amounts to help make sure that our city's thirst is maintained. Alrighty, so these guys will soon be uh, evolving yet again. Supplies of pottery, that's what I figured you guys needed. <clears throat> oh, look at that guys, they're evolving. Oh, well, we're uh, doing that's going on. Let's start to worry about our city's culture. And we'll start putting up dentists. That way we can start getting uh, that aspect of our culture raised. You get maximum toggling on my fire overlay. Just makes it easier to see the roads over here. Put up booths. Put up over here a pavilion. Right there. Dentist. Uh, let's put him right there. Put up a bazaar. Alright. Put up a bane stand right here. Oh, we need to grow some figs. So. We will replace these guys with fig farms. September, it's currently May, so hopefully those guys will be able to get uh, with the irrigation and the fertility, I'm hoping that they will see how much. 900. 900. So I hope that they will produce sufficient am a sufficient amount. It looks like they'll. Really, guys? Really? Idiot infrastructure. I hate my 
I hate my farm marshals at times. I really do. I really, really do. Alright. Those guys need employment, so we'll just do that. Yeah, we got enough figs. Dispatch that request. Send them all so that uh, people don't get pissed. All right, how we doing? Still too few mus musicians in the city, so let's go ahead and rectify that, shall we? Actually, put this like that. Undo that road. Put in Beinsteins. Let's see how we're doing. Mortuary. We are now going to have to deploy the executive need for um, mortuaries. We'll remove two of those guys, but we will, in fact, move them over there. Set up storage yard. A laden. And put you right there. And start deploying mortuaries across the city. That way we can get adequate coverage. And then, of course, we need to go import stuff. Import the stuff we need, which is a linen. It's one of these things where I wish I could Im not import it, um, produce it locally. Doi. <laughs> Alright. How are we doing on stone? We have 248 blocks. So, oh, I forgot to finish putting up the uh, stuff here on the temple complex. We'll just do that right now. Let's order up the sun temple built. At least the pre preliminary structure. But we're going to order stockpiling of uh, sandstone. I do not want the structure to be built until I'm ready. Alright. So now... How we're doing on unemployment? We're doing, we're doing good. Scribal schools. We need scribal schools. So, storage yard right here. And order the necessary importation. And then construct scribal schools. Or as I like to say on occasion, ribble rules. Ribble rules. Save thinness, yay! All right, guys. I think we are in a good place to go ahead and take a break, so I'm going to go ahead and hit my pause button. I'll leave you with uh, a nice view of the city right here. Let's everybody go ahead and get up and stretch, get something to eat, something to drink, use the restroom, all that nice stuff of taking a break. Most importantly, get up and stretch. I will be back in a few moments. See you then.
Okay, guys, I am back, so help keep the game moving. We'll just, uh, I'll re-engage re the pause, disengage the pause, and let's finish up our uh, break session. So let's make sure everybody's up and standing up and stretching. Moving both your arms and your legs. You want to keep moving as much as you can for a little bit at least. That way your body can be at good health. Oh, we have another request for figs. Go ahead and deploy them apples. Or them figs. I'm not sure if, uh, they should have had apples in, uh, antiquity. At least I think they should have. So, um, go ahead and, uh, finish up the stretch. Everybody, let's now take a drink of water. Ah, that was good. That was very good. Get another drink. And there we go. Now, uh, let's fully dive back into the game. I'm going to go ahead and construct another granary right there. And do a smart thing right here. I'm going to order up this guy to get uh, some beer and uh, uh, pottery. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I uh, hope that uh, fire marshal goes, goes and does his job like he's supposed to be doing. A few more potters right there. Oh, we, that's right, we need to rebuild that dock. And put up a bazaar over here. That way, these guys can get uh, the supplies they need. Oh, what was that? I'd city request goods. So, oh, we need to build granite quarries. Go ahead and put these guys up. And we'll just reconfigure this guy for granite instead of plain stone. Since this guy doesn't have road access, so uh, I'll get rid of him. I'm going to put a cap on my pottery exports. Because that stuff's obviously uh, running out like uh, it's, it's going a knife through butter very much. I think I can see. I'm careful, I can actually, yeah, we can set up a few more, set up some more clay pits right there. Because with the uh, increased clay production, uh, with the increased pottery production, we're going to need the additional raw materials for it. All right, all right, you can accept half. Reposition you guys. At least move them out of the way. And then, uh, Lennon, accept ha fill half the yard. In this case, I'm gonna have him get half the yard. Fill that request. Everybody's happy. Yes, I did. Yes, I did, dude. Oh, 
we got 140 stockpiles. Still lacking jugglers. So I'm gonna have to do some more creative juggling. <laughs> so we'll put down a pavilion. How much? 48. Uh, looks like we're gonna do ourselves some good, some good by putting up uh, stuff like this. So actually, I'm gonna remove this guy, both of those guys. Pavilion. Road block stuff up right there, there, and there. Put up a small smidge of housing. Yeah, I know I'm working on the fire overlay, but there are times where it's just easier to be able to work on the overlay and uh, not have to really worry about how things look. Now we can change it back. All right. More jugglers. More jugglers. Put up another pair of juggler stands right there. up another pavilion right there so we can start getting even more entertainment. Oh, I forgot I can export copper. Here I am being a silly face. It's gonna give uh, our economy a nice shot in the arm. Sometimes you just need those sorts of things. Not going to take much more to get this pyramid finished. Yes, I did, dude. I'll wait for these guys to get their delivery, then I'm going to temporarily tear down my um, um, stone mason guilds. That way I can transfer all the um, sandstone into several fewer um, um, store yards. Normally whenever I play this game I'm my mind doesn't have to worry about explaining it, so... Okay, they are... Alright, temporarily remove the stockpile. Have them all get... Idiot infrastructure. There is a firehouse right there! And yet... I, 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 yes, it is also a play on the naval acknowledgement of I, I. I'll have you accept all. What's going on here? All right, we should have more than enough on sandstone. Yes, we do. We can cease imports. Have you get a sh get the maximum? Go ahead and tear that guy down. Tear that guy down. 
All right. Resume the stockpile. Uh, sandstone stockpile. Of course, we'll reset up our stone mason guilds. Get these bad boys running. Also put down a few down here, even though they're technically not needed. All right, we also have to worry about our prosperity. It's lacking, so yeah, I'm gonna have to move that dentist. Unfortunately, we can move him. Right there. Little nice little niche right there, just for him. Put up. Uh, Four houses. Also make room in uh, this part of the area for a quart house. Alright. And, uh, let's see. Need to go program my bazaars. Do not buy luxury goods. Because when houses evolve beyond to a certain stage, they need luxury goods and I lose the employees. So no luxury goods for you. No luxury goods for you. Not at all. Let's see, let's make sure. Where's our access? Did I program this guy? I said it. Got him, got them. Should have gotten you, yep. No, I got you. We are good! Turn the acceleration back on. And we also need Senate houses, so. We'll build a few Senate houses. That way we can start getting uh, culture up. Culture is up. Prosperity is rising. Also going to build a library or three. Further enhance. 800 fish. Take care of that just a second. There we go. I know I need luxury goods. Pyramid finished. All right, we are going to go ahead and disengage the stockpile on sands down. I'm gonna let the um, work on that uh, sun temple right there to be worked on. And all we'll need to do is a dispatch the um, final goods we need. So while I'm thinking about it, uh, let's see, we need 800 luxury goods. So we will put a cap of 800 on that. Oh, I didn't know that the workers could do that. Our new infantry could. That's interesting. I didn't know that they could go right across the forts like that. Oh, I guess I learned something. Yeah, we're doing good. Population's met. All the ratings are met. I've got a good amount of money for the next city. What we'll um, probably do, guys, is uh, I want to keep the stream going for a little while, so um, we'll probably go ahead and get started on the next city. I'll at least try to do two cities this uh, episode, or at least a city and a half, at least. It's 
Huntable finish. And now decommission all these guys. Decommission all them. Put up a 1100 grain as needed. We'll dispatch that. There we go. We'll run for just a little bit more. Here in this scenario on a super speed. See, they need uh, more than just jewelry, so I guess it's a good thing we're not gonna have to worry too much about them evolving. Of course, uh, I want to get a little more money stowed away. Just a little bit. So let's see what we can do. Let's have a little more fun while we're here. Boom, boom, boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Go ahead and install this. Install a nice chunk of housing right there. And then. So this is, uh, we're just going to go for a wee bit longer. I just want to have just a little bit of additional funding to be able to work on the next city. It's one of these things where uh, in Zeus Poseidon, for example, um, when you're working on a particular campaign, you can have um, your city's money transfer over to your colony and so if you've got like this amount you know 90k that it can come with you to your colony and um, have um, essentially come over with you so you don't have to worry constantly worry about starting over so I think we're about good with uh, So, yeah, we're good for this scenario, so we will save Middle Kingdom Wast. Yeah, 1440, that's a good enough amount. Dispatch those burial provisions. Proceed. Through your diligence, you have fed a hungry people during a time of war and supplied the necessary reinforcements to defeat this enemy once and for all. Your accomplishments will not soon be forgotten. Your family's performance during the Civil War has not gone unrewarded. I, Pharaoh Mentuhotep, have awarded your family the rank of Vizier. There is no one in all of Egypt that I trust more than you. Now that the twin kingdoms of Upper and Lower Egypt are reunited, and the capital at Wast is thriving, I need you to help me solidify my position throughout the kingdom. While reunited, Egypt is prone to internal skirmishes, particularly in areas that were once loyal to the Henenesu rulers. To help solidify our new union, I want you to rebuild and defend Kebet. Kebet should be a glorious city that shows Egypt's citizens what is possible under my rule. This city comes under frequent attack from remaining loyalist cities such as Khmun, and you must be sure to defend your city's borders. Famine still stalks the country, and frequent requests for food will come to you from other cities in the kingdom. Respond as quickly as you can to their heart-rending pleas, so that all Egypt will know my benevolence and the dedication of my most trusted vizier. I know that I am asking much of you, but there is no one else in Egypt capable of doing this difficult task. Yep. So this is another one of my favorite scenarios. So... Let's see here. We are going to do some fairly significant reconstruction, which is part of the reason why 
We needed all the money. Actually, I'm starting to think that we might go back for just a little bit longer on Wast. I want to give myself just a wee bit more money, but we'll still pick the same scenario. So, and you know, I'm just thinking that, you know, 14... 1,520 Deban is not enough, so I might go, let's go for a little bit, just to, as I was saying, a wee bit longer. But uh, do not worry, we will, um, why am I slowing down the game? Why, are we, why was I doing that? I was being a silly head, a very big silly head. What? Yeah! <laughs> silly, silly face. Oh, I can do this. Do that. Let's have some fun. Let's make things. Let's see what we can do to make things nice and pretty. Make that all that happen. There's that. There is that. Let's make things even prettier. Some pauses. Long, we need to remember to keep these guys up. Uh, 900 fish, that's not a problem. Boom. I don't want to have to, you know, go through the other game, the next scenario, and have um, suddenly run out of money when I could have given myself a few thousand more Deban. That is why we're going to do that. What else can we do while we're here? Um, you now we've got a ton of unemployment, so let's take care of some of that unemployment. Put up a juggler school right here. Not a juggler school, a bandstand! I'm now thinking of American bandstand. This will be a way to get rid of some of the unemployment. There we go. Oops, some more stuff over here. I don't know why I'm slowing it down when I need to keep it on turbo mode. How we doing? Doing well. Culture's up and prosperity. Overall prosperity is up. All right. People are saying there's not enough places to worship. We can take care of that. Easier said than done. Well, easier done than said. <laughs> also gets rid of unemployment, which is a win-win. Culture is up! How we doing? I'm gonna go for just a moment more, a moment more. And then we will uh, get some stuff. How we doing on uh, there's that. I love it when my tax rate, when my tax revenue exceeds my wage revenue. Because some of the scenarios I've had where my tax revenue is such a ridiculous, it's like a hundred thousand Deban per year. It's literally enough that I could literally survive off taxation alone, but that's because more often than not, because I've got very high level housing. Higher than what I've got right here. Because, you know, they need jewelry. And so, you know, that's, you know, we're talking advanced palace level, maxed out, as filled with as many people as possible in order to be able to have that sort of high financial status. And so, by having that, it's what makes uh, stuff beneficial. So, I think we have, let's see, how are we doing? 
Alright, I think that is enough of a boost. So we will go ahead and do that. Do that and that. Boom, boom, boom. Through you. Alright, so now we slow back down. We slow back down. Boom. Money's in. Alright, so now we begin the complex work here in Quebec. Yes, I want to decommission the fort of rebuilding this city. So we, we've, there's a lot to be done. A whole bunch to be done. Some of the stuff I don't like. I try to keep as much of this as I possibly can. See here, um, it's the road. That's the Kingdom Road. So what I am going to do, I'm going to be trying something very much radically new. See, normally I have built walls up here, up to the Kingdom Road, and then adjusted this one. Let me page through here. I'm gonna still let's see. I'm actually gonna keep that just this side of the road like it is. We're gonna, yes, decommission that fort. I'm going to be. We're gonna really be. I'm gonna really gonna be radically uh, changing stuff here. Radically do things differently, in other words. As compared to what I've normally done in the past. In this case, what I'm going to be doing... My lord, I have really set myself up for trouble. A lot of destruction I gotta clean up. Just a big ton of a mess. Oh, I didn't mean to get rid of that road right away. Let's do that temporarily. Alright. Alright. So I want to have to defend the Kingdom Road, so. Continue to clean up. Alright, we can now get rid of those guys. Delete. Mm, where is that? That is nice and cleaned up. Get rid of you guys, because we are going to be significantly redoing oh that's right we need to leave that housing there let's just put a road in temporarily and then water crossings now normally I've put in stuff right there for a water crossing I'm going to do it differently this time. Don't need the dock anymore. Get those guys cleared up. Let's see. Leave myself a gap. Where's that? That is going to be our road. I'll leave the road right there temporarily so that I can... Um, uh, have that be there. We're going to sign our forts. Really need to redo some of this roading. Clear this out. Clear all those guys out. Now 
knowing we, that we get some attacks over here, what I'm going to do... Is let's put a road right here. So I can have most of our attacks come either right over here or right over here. Alright. So, what I'm going to be doing... Um, most of my fort. I'm going to be putting my forts. Don't forget to... I already donated. So I'm not being a dunce. Which is good. I'm going to put all my forts out of the way, you silly homeless guy. Clear that out of the way. More homeless guys, but there we go. Now I got our full allotment of forts. Alright, so now I wanna let's see here. Defense structures. One two three four yeah, we'll put it right there. I want to have at least some defense on that side, so rotate the gatehouse and uh, have the road come out like that. At least get that up and running. So now what I need is I need a recruiter and I need it now. Um, and, uh, let's see. I need to strategically think about this, so... Put, uh, you preliminarily, uh, let's see. Let's really think. And put it right here. That way they have easy. A that way my troops will have easy access. And then we'll finish up the walls like that. Now, it's of course strategically important that I uh, get access to my gold. And right here we got some, uh, we got stuff right here. That, and stuff right here. So, um, since this is near an attack point right over here, down in here, what I'll do is, um, I'm gonna have this area be my gold. So, one, two, one, two. This will be the road. This will be the strategic positioning of aforementioned road. And this will also allow me to put up the road like this so I can have um, stuff go through actually. We'll do a little bit better strategic planning, actually. Much better. Much, much better. We'll actually do this. One, two, three, four. Put the road like that. Clear that out. Instead, have this one go like that. That way, things will be better placed. See, one, two. It's the third, so we'll have it go like that. And then, pull up the water overlay. City Palace. We'll have it go like that. And then, actually, one, two, three, four. 
I'll actually move the City Palace one more over. And that way we can make housing to either side. There's up. Don't right click orange. There we go. Didn't even place the darn thing. Didn't even place the darn thing and I right clicked. Silly, silly me. Very silly. So there we go. Alright, let's, uh, let's see. Sethu or Cyrus? Um, Osiris is our patron, but Seth, he ain't happy. So, let's construct a few temples to Seth and Ra. That's what employment we got. That way we can keep them happy. We'll, uh, I'll repos I'll take these guys down here, down later on. In the meantime... Well, actually, I'll actually be uh, repositioning a fair amount of this routing, so... In the meantime, while we're waiting for housing to come along, immigrants to come along, we got some obelisks to build in this city, so... Oh my lord, we're gonna have to set a temple to Osiris uh, somewhere else. I was hoping I'd be able to squeeze it in. Without the housing issue, but that is okay. Don't worry. We're about to be making money hand over fist, so there is no need to worry. But yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll re be doing redoing this, guys, yeah, so. Let's go ahead and start some of our strategic positioning of eroding. Actually, smart idea. We'll do that. I'll put statues right in here. And then we're gonna need to hook this up. Alright. Road block this off. Academy. It'll help take out an, an amount of our unemployment. What I'm going to do is I'm eventually going to tear this stuff down, make, give these guys more room. But uh, I want to get the... Um, um, stuff dealt with first, so... Let's see... We got immigrants coming up. We just need to speed up the game so that they will turbo their way through. Fig farms. Let's get some farms built. Out of money. I think if I am a schmirt about this. Should be schmirt about this. There we go. We can do this. Now we're doing on unemployment. <laughs> oh my lord. Talk about unemployment. Alright, so... Uh, I'll have a connection right here. Alright. Ferry landings. Right there. And then we'll start being uh, strategically placing our infrastructure. That way we can have our stuff come through. Start sucking up the unemployment. Because we want people to have jobs, of course. Oh, my should have remembered to put a roadblock right there. Strategic thinking. I land. I need to remember to build my 
mansion. So I'll put it right there to give these guys who live here nearby these wharves a huge uh, boost of um, desirability. Yes. All right. So we should have enough access now to f for these guys to be able to get for me to install gold. Yes. We are going to be flowing in money. Lucky is the city that can make its own gold. Of course, this is of course going to make a nice big bat in our unemployment. Still uh, 150 people. So even what I've just gotten set up is going to make a nice bite. Oh, don't forget the um, temple complex. Don't want no service getting my head. We'll slide him in right there. Help keep him out of the way. That way I can come in and, come in and build over here because I want to build some stuff over there eventually. How are we doing on unemployment? It's dropping like a rock. It's dropping like a rock. Yeah. All right. Let's see here. Actually, let's do even more smarts. We will do this. Hey, I want to make sure. Uh, military, yeah, it has to be a priority, followed by government. All right, so now we are going to start to rearrange parts of our city. Because... just need the ability to expand and grow. So, we will put in housing there. Clear this completely out. Replace it with statues. Oh, I knew I had to have my uh, guys up and running right away. It was just like they said, the remaining loyalist forces to the Hananesu rulers. Alright, so now that we got all this going, roadblock these guys off. We can, let's see, make, make sure they are sympathetic. Essentially tear these guys down. Gosh, I'm pushing the wrong part of the keyboard. So now, I'm going to actually essentially move and replace those temples. Uh, I want Raw and Seth. Right there. Go ahead and move these guys. Swing the map. Put that and that. Fruiter, replace immediately. Yeah, I'm just trying to get all things put in order. That there. Water supply. Put up uh, an apothecary right there. I have no major complaints about this city. There we go. We got things a little bit better now. More organized, which is good. How we're doing on unemployment. Still got a ton. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now... Um, need to worry about food. So we will worry about food. So we'll put work camp right there. Let's roadblock that right there. What else? Put up a... Uh, Granary right here. Ah, wanted plaza, not statue. 
That way we can keep these guys' desirability up. Don't forget to irrigate. And we should have, let's see here now. I'm going to take a quick look-see here at our... We don't need to be importing clay. We can produce clay locally. So, we can export figs. See, let's open up our. Uh, let's see, here's our capital wa. Here's the capital city was. They buy figs. Karagara, Kagara Oasis. They buy fish, so we'll open up a trade route with them. Trade route with Buhen. That is about it for what we can do for our current trade routes. We're going to have more trade routes, of course, open up. Yes, I know I need a dock. Alright. One month. We need to save the shitty. Uh, Kabet. There we go. I'm definitely thinking, guys. Um, we're not going to be... Um, I want to give myself with uh, some decent amount of time with this city. So, um, we'll probably call it uh, quits here after a while. So... Let's go ahead and uh, deploy this force of archers. Rotate the company. Yeah, no, I'm in debt. And quickly deploy these guys. Deliberately use them as a strategic reserve. Oh boy, we got another way we can do this actually. Make sure that military and government remain and industry remain our highest priorities. I am going to do it's an old, old trick. I am going to spam the heck out of police stations. Fine. This is going to do creates force constable. Ah, I hate when I do that. Basically permits me to hire what is essentially amounts to a militia. I hate when I do this. All right. Essentially hiring out a militia force. I know it's not going to do me much good, but, uh, quite literally not much good. So I've essentially hiring out, I'm essentially have hired out a militia force. Alright, for these guys. Placing the gate will be a minor consolation. But by having all the constables... Make sure, yeah. Uh, number three. Um, actually, number four. So basically what this is doing is that they can... The constables will wear down the enemy's morale. They wear down the enemy morale. It is expensive, and it's a lot, literally a last-ditch effort, or a version of a last-ditch effort. 
costs resources, it costs money, it costs space, it costs employees, can be very damage, very detrimental to the city's economy. But, if it results in driving away enemy forces once uh, the, um, Once my mil main military has been unable to defeat them, uh, it can result in overall city victory. And so that was what I was doing. Literally using constables to demoralize the enemy. So now that is done. Of course, we're back up to this huge unemployment. So, um, what I can do now is reset up a gatehouse right here. Carefully deploy. We're going to deploy a few towers. I'm going to give at least a gap between these towers enough space to deploy future towers and to put up some housing right there and now what I need to do is um, use the let's see we're gonna use that for so one, we can do one, two warships, one and two, three, four, five, we'll have to use that for stock space. So. Yeah, let's see. I'm just thinking here, guys, so one, two, three, Four. We're going to use this as a dock. Actually, yeah, five and six. And I hate to have to, you know, have only one dock, but it's a case, one dock right here. But it's a case of, uh, we're going to need to have it just like that. So, going to roadblock that off. Going to. Oh boy. Idiot infrastructure. Well, then again, I haven't put in the proper infrastructure right there, so. Well, at least put in a. Um, a thingy right there, so. It's going to help uh, suck up some unemployment. Suck up some unemployment. Suck up some unemployment. Also put in tax collectors because we've got unemployment, and the city needs the money. So oh, so what I'm also going to do is start careful strategic planning. Yes, I know. So in this case, this area, I'm going to seal off this area down here. That way we can have um, There they are. There are the immigrants. So... Go ahead and seal, we'll keep it like that. And then continue to strategically place a few more towers. Trying to continue to work out the unemployment situation. At least I put in a few tax collectors. That's going to help our money woes. 
All right. Let's see, um, to also put up a granary right here. And as I recall, can export. Let's see, who buys wings? Was. I love the art. Who hen? Our long and dangerous trek here was born. We'll just, I'll, ju I'll just have that storage yard suck up employees for now. Knew that. Have you set up, set up a thing for figs? Because we need the figs. Actually. I'll have, I'll have a warship wharf right there, so that was three, four, five, and six. And I'll put a, uh, what's it over here for the, uh, a warship, not a warship wharf, a, um, shipwright. Doi! <laughs> Alright, so I can now, I'm gonna now just start to export, um, figs. That's gonna help. Why am I looking there when I need to pull up this? Wood, can only import, granite, export, we need to do that. Copper, can export, so we're gonna worry about that. Oh, one, two, there's that. Going to put up two storage yards, one there, one there. Actually, we'll make them just a touch closer this way. Copper and granite. Firehouse and an Arky post. We'll do it like that. And then we're going to have to set up a little bit of housing. We won't set up too much. Uh, that'll be enough. Uh, that's going to help us get started on that. Yeah, uh, yeah, no, I know. It's hard to believe how dull it is here. The legions of the unemployed clog the streets. Eh, January. Send a gift. And then give to the city that money. That will help us out tremendously. Oh, yeah. We got gold coming in, and that's helping. We got 7,900 gold income last year. Debt? Yeah, no. 34. Really? Idiot infrastructure? Alright. I hate to have to do it like this, but we're just going to have to... Build up some more infrastructure. Yeah, I'm trying to help out here, guys. I'm talking to the uh, civilians, of course. The game's uh, sprites. Don't worry. There it is when you've got only so much to do. Only so much you can do. At least we got uh, enough um, interest in the city to be by other people. Let's see, those guys got jobs, which is good. Provide security because I don't want them robbing 
Let's see. Copper mine. Alright. And this is doubly beneficial. Alright, we're going to put up a few weapon smiths. This is multi beneficial. We get. Um, unemployment sucked up. And we get potential for economic use. So, granite. So that is why we're doing some of the stuff we are doing. Here we go. Uh, what are these messages? Population mass and disease strikes. This is really going to suck up uh, unemployment. Fudge apples. Oh, that's one way to get rid of uh, unemployment. Religion needs to be a priority. I know it puts military down, but... Um, uh, let's see. Um, make sure to set copper to... Copper! Export! I need to get uh, fish up and running as well for exports as soon as I possibly can. So, how are we doing here? I've at least got firefighting is hard work. I take what I want. Don't try to stop me. Yeah, that's what I was kind of talking about. Oh, well, fortunately, I know it's a bad idea, but I'm going to, doesn't help raise money, but I'd rather have that happen. Let's see, granite, export over zero blocks, make sure to get that up and running. Still got people immigrating, which is a good thing. I love the art of the deal. I can't oh, and they buy both I copper. <laughs> what the? You are a bunch of idiots. You got a bunches of idiots. All right. Uh. You guys are just making life harder on you. The more you try to steal from me, the harder I am going to come down on you. Silly, silly stuff. Idiot infrastructure. I'm gonna replace you with an archie post. Fishing a wolf. All right. All right. Let's see. Um, Strategic planning time, yeah. So we are gonna put a dock right there. Uh, move that. And then do all that. So let's see, that's gonna be four. Five and six, so we'll have the uh, Egyptian army drawing near. Yeah, that'll be fun times. All right, gonna 
build up our continue to build up our fishing fleet. So ship right. Put up a strategic placement of housing and infrastructure in this sector, actually. Why do I have the duck right there? Time for some moving around of the roads. Silly, silly tree. Uh, maybe I can... Sh uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Think this out, think this out tree. Fishing wharf can go right there. There we go. Have that be like that. We get another fishing wharf out of it. Firehouse. Architect's post. A tax collector. Put him right there. Put up an apothecary. Police station. Oh, darn it. Put up a position. We'll leave the space here. Open. Actually, we'll be able to put in a fig farm, so... More strategic thinking. Have to pry that guy loose. Sorry, I'm gonna have to just deal with disease every now and then. After that, nah. We could do without taxation. I'd rather have them be untaxed, actually. Yeah, I won't be able to put it, anything there without sacrificing another thing, so... We'll just have to make do without the taxes. Just make do without the taxes. And put in housing. For the thing. Yeah, I know. Well, all this is going to suck up uh, jobs like no tomorrow. Great. Suck up unemployment like no tomorrow. No tomorrow at all. the hard way. Put up in a pocket carry. And I position to watch over their stuff. One month away. Pause. Shave kabut. Let's go to battle. We're gonna be going to battle. Oh boy. Well, at least this time we're going to have some defiance. I'll reload the game because that was a rather speedy battle. I really ought to move the recruiter over here along with the, um, over, over here. Move the recruiter over here. Let's, I'm just going to see. See how this lines up. Yeah, I could move him over here and set up a um, what's it? The um, needed stuff. But it would make their desire the desirability over here kind of go down. But then again, it would allow me to use this area here for more housing. We'll, we'll worry about that later. Worry about that later. Yeah, I want to keep make sure these guys stay in range of the uh, the towers. Come on. Let's see. Uh, Pull them in, fall back, 
close the tower. Deploy! Deploy! There we go. We got them taken care of. That was some very good strategic maneuvering there. Which is a very good thing! I'm thinking... Let's see... Um... What did these... Oh, I couldn't move this guy, honestly. Big bomb... Darn it. Open. Let's see if we can. I want to move. I want to improve this. I want to improve it. So let's do this. Uh, farm, fig farm. So what we can do? I want to get better irrigation for the fig farms. Proven play can still strike. This is, that's not good at all. The plague that chance for plague that is. Mm. It's not any better. I'm above the debt line now, which is good. Alright, farm, fake farm. Hmm. Hmm. Conundrum, conundrum, conundrum. Get that right there. Just having so much fun trying to de decide where to put all these food farms. So I want to get maximum possible efficiency out of these farms. These farms. Hmm. Screwed one way, screw oh, wait a minute, wait a, wait a minute, wait a minute. Do it like this. I know I can put a, a, um, fishing wolf right there. Let's see, move the tax collector. Do that. Allow me to get these boys right there. Then do this. I'll undo that. And then do this. Oh, wait a minute. Actually, better idea. Reconnect that. Should allow me to do that, because you can only get... Oh, wait a minute, even better. Even better! Doi! Oh, wait. No doi. <laughs> this way I had it. It's like that. Yeah. Uh, screwed one way, screwed another. It doesn't matter. There we go. She is give it a sec here. It's not irrigated, is not. Is is please tell me yes, yes. Well two farms out of one, two, four, eight. Two out of nine, not irrigated. That that could be worse. 
That could be far, far worse. Alright, so I'm going to have to move that Temple to Ra. I actually probably need to construct another Temple to Ra, actually. Put him over there. Put Roadblock right there. See how the gods are doing. As I thought. So, we'll just, uh, Raw and Seth. There we go. There we go. That is a lot, lot better than what we had. We st now we are actually in need of workers, so I will start putting up some bajars so that we can start, uh, Harvesting additional food. I'm going to remove my recruiter. And I still need to remember to leave that space there. So, move the recruiter. He has to be moved first. That is utmost priority. There he is. Build the academy right next to him. It's a little bit better placement. We'll still retain this area for some build up in terms of our uh, local economy as well as defense. But at least we're doing better. Everybody's friendly. No one Take is reporting quick look. any crimes. Uh, now, who is it that buys fish? Wasp, Buhan, Kargara, their land base. So, we're going to have to set up a storage yard somewhere. Go ahead and. This is going to be for weapons. Actually, put up fishing, fishing wall. Thank you. Up, drop, up leg. That's not good. Storage yard right there. You will be acceptor of fish. Put up infrastructure right here because knowing that these guys, they just love to collapse. Put up more fish stuff. There we go. Actually, now we don't need this part right here anymore, so we'll just make this stuff go bye bye. These guys need desirability. In the meantime, I'm going to set up a fig farm right there so that uh, he can start going through and getting food. And right over here, we'll set up a um, flax farms. We only need a few, I think. We'll leave those idle for now. We're also going to need a ton more fig farms, so... Start setting those boys up. Oh boy, I didn't get food. At Proper access for that guy. Need to reset, reset. Oh, right, silly, silly trick. There's a way to do it. You just need to do it right. Flip the map. Now, 
All these farms will be able to call upon the labor pool. Whatever thing, whatever reason, I'm thinking of um, Legend of Zelda right now, particularly the Wind Waker. When uh, Salvatore, when you're playing one of Salvatore's uh, games, uh, the one where you're the um, admiral, of the gunner for the admiral of the fleet, and he goes, "Splish, splish, splish." And then, of course, kaboom! Oh, thanks a lot, Buhan. Thanks a lot. Oh. Innovation is coming! What? Idiot infrastructure. That was also partly my fault. Won't leave my fault. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Oh, we, we. I need to assign that a high priority. I'll also, increase the housing down here. And do a little road right there. Give him a physician so that we do get less trouble. Now, now that our finances are in order, can't believe I'm not exporting fish. Orange, make more money. Sell fish. Sell them fishies. Just so long as you're not making it too fishy. Also do that. Raise the, these guys' desirability so that, oh my lord, I've been meaning to bump up my, what's it? My favor. Six months. I've been forgetting to give donations to the kingdom. Oh, thank you, Wast. Just what I was wanting to hear. January? I want to decrease that and get that rid of that oddball four, so I will donate four Deben, a mere four Deben, to the city. Yes, four Deben. There we go. That looks much better. Of course, uh, we're doing very much well now by financial standards. I mean, take a look at that 7,900 gold per annum. That is a nice thing to do. Well, let's see. Malaria doesn't seem to be a problem now here. We're slowly getting our uh, stuff built up here, so. Now we're doing on unemployment. I think we'll build up a few more towers. Just, uh. Just for a wee bit of safety. Oh, I forgot to rebuild the, um, the fishing wharf. Silly me. It burned down and yet I did not rebuild it. Alright, I think uh, once we get through the battle, I think that... Uh, Speaking of battles, we'll go a little bit past the battle. And then we're going to go ahead and call it Mid City. Egyptian Arm. Oh, fudge apples! Rep! Well, time to go to Plan B. This is going to be a lot longer than I anticipated. Deploying emergency defense measures. Fortunately, we have the means. We have unemployment. So it is time to provide the strategic defense system. We have the money. We have the means. And we're just going to give... 
all that we possibly can to creating, because I don't have any transports, and it's going to take a lot longer than I would like to get things set up for that, so we are just going to do what I, I'm going to do what I can to get, um, this pushed up for defense. Well, this means that we are going to build the heck out of uh, stuff. Make sure that we are government infrastructure second priority. build up as much as I can in this area. I want to have as many constables as possible out there uh, calling upon their abilities to damage the morale of the enemy troops. Yeah, I know I need employees. Fortunately for us guys, we are going to hopefully have as many of those dudes defending our city as we possibly can. Alright guys, it's time to have our fingers crossed! Come on. Tsunami attacks, yes. Yes, sign up. All right, deploy secondary force. Deploy secondary force. Essentially move stuff over here. So that uh, we get much of the same effect. Well, it's going to defend this area. They'll, they'll cause casualties. They're not only demoralizing the enemy, they're also causing casualties! Which is a very, very good thing. So, the more bad boys we defeat via this method, the sooner they will go away. I'm going to do a thing like this right here. Where I, I guess I know this is costing me money and resources. Uh, economic resources. In terms of uh, potential income. I would rather have as many constables as possible out there kicking what butt they can. I'd rather spend the money to create this militia force and get the enemy to go by. So let's stop talking about beating the enemy and trying to actually do it. Of course, the longer they stay under the influence of the... The longer they stay under the influence of these... 
constables, the more likely they're bound to run away. See, look at that. Look at that. I'm going to even devote my what I got of my government for government employment to my slowly but surely. Oh my lord, I just lost the tax collector's office. Uh, oh, I only lost 73 dibbons, so it could be worse. Uh, let's see here, boys and girls. We drove them off. We literally are driving them off. Look at that. They got demoralized and they are running away. So we will... I know I just cleared up wreckage. I shouldn't have cleared up. Uh, we will start uh, reducing these guys, so that we can start resetting them to where they need, so we can redistribute workers to where they're needed. Because we need to have employees where they are truly needed and not just uh, being sucked up into a giant police state. So let's get all the guys here taken care of. We'll keep one guy right there. And now, we'll literally do this. Look at that, we drove them all off. Hashtag demoralization by constabulation wins. Alright, so health and sanitation first priority so that we can start to rebuild our... Oh boy! Um, military off. Thanks, Seth. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Thank you so frickin' much, dude. Alright. Uh, we'll put up a re-put up a position and a police station. And then we'll put back up a granary. I don't remember what I had that for, so we'll just clear up that wreckage and uh, leave it be. Rebuild that housing. I'm thinking I need to do that. Temples, Ra, and Zeth. Try to rebuild that, uh, uh, 1,300 fish. I have 2,900. Oh, darn it. Uh, I'll just save history. Need to do that. He goes, I forgot to do this. Give city. Give that money. Because we're going to need it. So... Oh, don't worry, it won't take much to get all this fixed up again. Ah. No. We'll be, uh, we'll be winding down here shortly, guys. So, no need to worry. As soon as we do a few cleanup measures, we need to get uh, people back into the city. Did I, did I 
think I forgot to put a physician down here, so we'll put a physician down here. And also do the irrigation number. So that these guys have irrigation. Not about. Yeah. Raw, why? I'm half tempted to once again pull up the save, so we'll we'll actually do that. Religion is uh, priority, and we are going to. Do this while I'm thinking about it. This will hopefully appease them, and we'll, of course, once again <laughs> rebuild these two. I do not want them dissing me. If there's anybody who disses me, uh, I want it to be set. Loss of a. Uh, Trade is, of course, vital in this game. Oh, did I? Do the thing, do the thing, Orange. Do the thing. Let's actually go ahead and shave it. Give it. Give it. We did it. So hopefully we won't have to worry about all that reconstruction. And now, cross fingers, cross fingers. You can prevent damage. That's uh, that's good. That's good. 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 I'm gonna wait till uh, they're not so unhappy, and then we'll call the stream. Is uh. I want to show you what happy, happy gods look like. Happy gods. That's what we want. Happy gods. Happy people. Happy gods. Happy traders. Happy everybody. Everybody wins. We're all victorious. City health improving. Plague still strike. But still strike. Congenial. Everybody is happy. So we can tear these guys down. Oh, oh, I forgot to do this. A little bit of adjusting right here. Irrigation ditch. Alright. Now well, we've got our city back in order from all that devastation so let's go ahead and save the game and then we'll pick up with the city uh next week so um let's go i'm gonna go ahead here and uh take a look here and we're gonna go raid somebody so Let's go ahead and do that. Let me see who is up and broadcasting. There are a number of people I uh, see that we could potentially visit. Let's see here. Because I would like um, very much to be able to make sure we're rating somebody who's live. All right, uh, looks like we got somebody here, so let me go ahead and put in the preliminary raid message. While I'm doing that, I would like to thank you guys for coming to this uh, episode of City Building Saturdays. I hope you will join me for a special Minecraft live stream tomorrow. Uh, going to be presenting the operationally complete but not fully 100% complete Mach 6 Industrial Smelter. Uh, let me finish doing that. 
So if you'll please select the end of the message there, the tree grove has arrived to bring you shade and water. So again, please join me tomorrow for that special smelter stream. Then on Monday, we will begin, be beginning a new series, uh, Age of Empires 2 Mondays. Then on Thursday for Titan Quest Thursdays. Then on Saturday, for yet another episode of City Building Saturdays, where we'll be picking it back up on the city of Quebec. So, if you've been watching this on YouTube, thank you. Please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you've been watching here on Twitch. Please make sure to hit that follow button. I would appreciate it. I am r trying to reach affiliates. So, let's go ahead and raid Kiki is your friend. And I will see you guys in the next episode. So, thank you guys for coming, and I hope you will join me on this raid. I will see you guys next time.